Hello everyone and welcome to 2023 and our People Work new content all around helping you work, earn, learn and connect. Of course, it's no secret that that's the experience inside of our app because if you are just starting your working life, if you're upskilling, reskilling, if you're trying to relaunch your career in any way, we are your experts and we are your resource. So today's content is almost perfect for our first new year launch content. Why? Because it's talking about open AI and chat GPT. And chat GPT has a way of influencing almost every aspect of your working life. How you work, earn, learn, and stay connected, but maybe not in the ways that you think. So in case you don't know what chat GPT is, obviously go to OpenAI or search what is chat GPT, but I'm actually gonna show you one of the really good experts at talking about what chat GPT is. And of course, we'll give you the resource link to his video and giving you some context and some bigger implications of what this AI technology platform can do. How many of you know what chat GPT is? Okay. So well, I'll, not very many. So I'll tell you what chat GPT is, just so you know, because you need to know this. And I don't know what sort of technological revolution this is. Gutenberg press level? It's something like that. This is a big deal. So this AI system... A, a third of the universe will go broke. And, and that's a pretty scary point of view. I'm not gonna watch this through our entire content, but obviously search Jordan Peterson and understand his point of view. Go to the source, get your own point of view. But let's talk about actually how that might impact your working world. I'm actually going to log into our ChatGPT account. And I'm gonna ask some questions of ChatGPT to see how it would influence my working, earning, learning, and connecting decisions. Okay. Well, obviously what we were going to do is show you a little bit of the ways that chat GPT can actually influence what you're doing or how you're doing your work. But right now it is obviously on demand. It is reaching capacity and this AI technology was re released to the public not more than six months ago. But it's something that obviously while the rest of us were worried about having conversations about the past, people that were more interested in making impactful changes for the future built a technology like this. So let's walk a, let's go ahead and walk through how you would actually use this and the implications or possible dangers of it. If you use technology just like all technology, if you use technology for malice or misintent, uh, what could be the dangers of it, right? So in the terms of our working world, when you're looking for a job, you're, you can go to any search engine today and you can say, find the best job for me, find uh, a near job for me. Or if you're in your People Work app, you're not even gonna search for anything, you're just gonna match for all of the verified and legitimate jobs that we have found for you. But there's still this an amazing array of digital sources that you can find your job. Well now, you can create your own quick bot for, to be able to create your searches for you. Are they going to be verified jobs? Are they going to be legit jobs? No, because this source still uses open source information to give you its recommendations. Now, what about earning? The number one question that we get asked at People Work through our coaches or through chat or live, or live advice support is how much should I get paid for this job? Well, when you ask ChatGPT, how much should I get paid for this job? You might get misled because you're not getting enough details and specifications of what you're doing, why you're doing it, where you're doing it, and how you're doing it but you will be able to get some generalized information that knows whether or not you're being underpriced or overpriced in the market for the work that you are trying to get. Now learning, mm, learning and chat GPT, oh my gosh. If you put into any, any part of chat GPT, write a essay for me or do my ex homework for me, ouch. You're now using GPT chat to do your homework for you. 
And what we've learned and what you might learn through your own research is that universities and schools are already getting homework assignments that are submitted under false pretense. And this is really a kind of a gray area where you're plagiarizing something because ChatGPT does pull information that's publicly sourced from the internet. It is going to create its own form of logic and response to you, but it is still not your original ideas. But you could still use it to learn and find ways of learning that might not have been traditional in the past. Obviously, with what we're doing at PeopleWork, when we match you to all kinds of knowledge building opportunities, whether it's a non-traditional course, a masterclass provider, a, a certificate or a degree, it's all been verified and there's some function and form and legitimacy around what you're learning. And of course, in return, you should be spending the time creating and providing your feedback and doing work that is a demonstration of your core competencies and how you're thinking. But you can also use GPT on the good side as an encyclopedia of sorts. Ask the questions that you're really pondering to see what kind of feedback you would get. It's just feedback. And that's really where the line is between how you use advanced technology like ChatGPT, like open AI technology, or even what we do inside of PeopleWork to help give you predictive choices on what you're going to do for the future and help you close your skills gap and make connections in real time. Well, that brings me to connections. How will ChatGPT influence connections? It really is a matter of authenticity and not. Authenticity is now becoming very important when you look at the bigger implications of technology on our working world. When we created PeopleWork as a closed ecosystem, you're not searchable, you're not findable. Everybody that connects with somebody inside of our ecosystem is doing it because there's intention. And we know that you're a verified employee or you're a verified talent or you're a verified human being on the other side of that technology. Well, with ChatGPT, if you're using it to source or find out information about the people that you're trying to connect with and then use that as a way to message them, email them, get inside of their accounts, it has been a question that's asked on GPT about how people can hack accounts. It's very scary stuff, again, if it's used in the wrong way. But if you're using ChatGPT in a great way to connect, for example, if you're trying to find out about Kim Kelly as a CEO of PeopleWork, it might be a good idea if you're interviewing me or if you're having an interview with me after you've matched with the job on PeopleWork. So again, some good and bad, and it's up to you, the end user of all technology, to make sure that it's applied in the best use and the best intention. So how do you use it? Obviously, it's up to you. How do you cope with it? You be aware of it. Being aware of technology as sophisticated as this is really the key to understanding the distance between you evolving with work or not. So if you have any questions or comments, obviously let us know, put them down in the chat. We wanna know how you used ChatGPT. We wanna know any other ideas that you might have about how people could be implicated by the use of ChatGPT. Maybe you agree with Mr. Jordan, maybe you don't. I know that my personal opinion is, is that any type of AI, any type of machine learning, any type of bot can either be used to enhance the world, specifically the working world, which is all my cup of tea, or it can be used to create some pretty harmful effects. We'll watch it and of course we'll keep content out as we learn more about this and as we see how it's being used by others. It's people work. We give you the tools. It's up to you how you use them.